So why does this apple fall? The 325-year-old law of gravity proves it. Now, in science, a law is a theory that has been proven beyond a shadow of a doubt. But a century and a half after Darwin published his theory of evolution, it remains just a theory. It hasn't been proven, despite vast excavations for fossils or amazing advances in unlocking the building blocks of life. Even Darwin himself, 155 years ago, wondered why there are no transitional fossils, missing links between not only man and ape, but between dogs and cats, fish and amphibians. In fact, all the animals alive today can be found in the most distant fossil records, although most have evolved to adapt to changing environments. But nothing showing one species changing into another. And yet this theory of evolution is considered a law. It's often taught in schools as a law, like gravity. Anyone who doesn't believe it is branded as a religious kook or an idiot. Now you might be saying that about me right now. I knew there was something wrong with that, Holmberg. Me, I've got a Bachelor of Science in Biology and a lifelong fascination with this study of life. And I'm fascinated by people who've taken maybe one high school biology class who are absolutely certain in the theory of evolution. Those that basically are in charge of science in this country, they will not allow alternative hypotheses to be presented because their philosophical view is as strong as their scientific view. It's almost religious in nature. It is. It is. Just as strong. Darwinism is a stronger religion as any other typical religion that we think of. Me, I don't think biblical creationism should be taught in science classes. I just wish evolution was taught as a theory with some pretty glaring holes. So ask yourself, why is it so important for you to believe in evolution? Does it make you feel safe? Like there's a straightforward answer to this thing called life, as simple as why this apple falls. But maybe there's something else, something we really haven't thought about. One thing's for certain, we won't find it if we're not looking for it. That's my take. I'd love to hear yours on WTVR.com.